Welcome to this video about the new feature improvement and evolution of Bonita version 7.9. I'm Antoine Mottier, technical evangelist at Bonitasoft. And in this video series, I will guide you through the different improvement of this latest version of Bonita. But first of all, I want to highlight the key theme that we're working on at Bonitasoft on the Bonita platform. So first important theme uh, we're currently working on is about making the solution uh, more modular, uh, breaking it into several uh, autonomous components, and also bring, provide more toolings for the developers. So the evolution are, around this theme are uh, targeting mostly Bonita Studio and the Bonita Engine. We're also working on providing solution for continuous delivery of Bonita project to being able to deploy at all time the latest version of a Bonita application. And for this, we have a dedicated module, so Bonita Continuous Delivery Module, BCD. And we're working also on the studio, bringing all the artifact of a Bonita application into the studio, all in the project and all editable from the studio or using the UI designer in the studio. We also want to make the solution more accessible to people with uh, less skill in, in programming language. And uh, so turn this into a low code application development approach. And so we provide more to link to make creation of forms, for example, a lot easier uh, in the UI designer and also to link in the studio. We also want to make the solution easier to deploy. And part of this is covered by BCD module, but another part is by providing uh, an offer of Bonita in the cloud. So uh, a platform, uh, a Bonita runtime ready to use in the cloud. And the last theme is around uh, intelligence, uh, artificial intelligence. and. So the, the Bonita module dedicated to that, Bonita Intelligent Continuous Improvement module, uh, keep getting new feature and uh, evolution around this, uh, this topic. Before we jump into the, the different uh, actual evolution of the platform, uh, let's have a quick look, a reminder about the architecture of the solution. So the, the first component that you will usually start with is the Bonita Studio. Um, it's created, it's aimed to be used by the developers. So in our schema here, the developer is referenced as Dave and also the front-end designer. Uh, so our person as Fred here that will use a UI designer that is embedded in the studio to create the web interface. And we have this new person as Cindy that is our targeted person as for a um, low code approach. So making uh, the solution easier to use for people that don't have uh, technical skills about programming language. We have, uh, we store all the, the data created in the studio in a, in a repository, for example, Git, and you can plug in on this, the BCD modules that will take care of building the application uh, it can also take care of provisioning an environment for the deployment and it can deploy the application on this environment. So this will help the system administrator to create Bonita environment. So it can be on premise, it can be on the cloud. So doing the provisioning on the cloud, but handled by the, the client, or it can deploy on the cloud provided by Bonita. The Bonita runtime is uh, composed of the Bonita engine for the execution of the process and the web interface uh, for both end users and administrator. And finally, we have the Bonita in, uh, AI module. So for a, for a technical operator to uh, have an overview of the progress of the process to get some alerts about processing running late, uh, for example, getting some prediction about how long a process will take to be executed. So the solution can be totally 
install on premise as usual, or it can be hosted by Bonitasoft for you on the cloud, or you can deploy it on your own cloud infrastructure as well. Uh, and all that is easier using the BCD module. So let's now have a quick overview about what is new in this version. So we provide new tooling to create the web forms. We, we make this tooling uh, even easier to use and it generates forms that we'll see can display data, edit data uh, a lot easier compared to what we have previously. We improve the Bonita engine performance as well. Um, we support the new uh, technical environments like operating system, latest version of the database system and so on. As I said, the BC module gets some uh, some new feature, including, for example, new reports. Uh, BCD was updated to take advantage of the Bonita engine improvement in terms of performance. And finally, we have this offer in the cloud. So all the detail about this new feature, uh, you can discover them in the upcoming videos in this series of uh, video about what's new in Bonita 7.9.